Uh, hi everyone, welcome back to my YouTube channel. In this video, we'll be trying to understand how to build a uh, basically drag and drop, uh, you can say to-do list. Here, just let me show you what we'll be adding on to. We'll be having this to-do where we'll be basically having the ability to drag this to-dos uh, on top of each other or basically swap this uh, position as well. Something similar to how it's being done here. This is quite cool, but we'll not be doing this much level of stuff we'll be trying to keep things simpler so anyways i have a basic uh, react project here it just has an input component nothing fancy there which adds a title uh, and the title gets added to the app.tsx get task uh, sorry set task as you can see here it has an id which is nothing but the timestamp as well as the title which is basically a text and text is nothing but just a simple component where we have a handle this is the handle and the rest is the task.title that's it i guess and i've already went ahead and installed a couple of packages which i'll be putting in the readme as well you can check this out later on this dnd get code sortable utilities modifiers the main core of dnd kit is core but for us to use what you can say this vertical horizontal lace etc this comes under the sortable preset as you can see so we had to install sortable utilities modifiers again are things which basically dnd gate is quite modular in that way it gives you it apps it basically modelizes a couple of things based on different packages you you use it if you need it that's the main goal of having all these packages anyways we can get started now so first of all let me add a dnd context in the input tag so not input we need to basically wrap our container where we'll be having the drag and drop stuff It's a DND context. Now we need a sortable context because we'll be using that context also. So sortable context is basically uh, abstracting a couple of things which DND kit provides, which is draggable, droppable. Uh, let me show you the de demo. Draggable, as you can see here. This is draggable. this is droppable as you can see and sortable abstracts over on top of it to use both draggable and droppable concept because in one way our task component will be draggable as well as droppable at the same point of time so that's why a lot of abstractions are built into the sortable component you can create your own pieces if you want interest if you're interested in here you already have vertical horizontal grid multiple container etc it's virtualized also anyways uh, let us come back to the topic at hand so you need to have sortable context also and let me import it is it already imported yeah it's already imported i think from dnd get sortable so anyway dnd context needs a couple of things one is the collision detection basically we need to tell uh, the way of collision because it doesn't use html drag and drop api just to let you know it uses something called uh, it basically uses sensors and different kinds of its own stuff to uh, understand one main part being collision detection to understand whether something is overlapping on top of each other to basically drag and drop stuff so anyways we need there are different kinds of collision algorithms like if you're building a mobile game or 2d mobile game you might have encountered different kinds of collision detection you can check out mdn etc there are some great resources out there and their documentation also is quite good one second let me just add this close this corners let me come back here go back one step Reindicate. Now let me just come to the just do a basic search here documentation. DND context collision detection algorithms. The different kinds of collision algorithms basically used by DND kit and it's taking some time for me to load those images but this i would say to check out the document is quite good as you can see here one is like the intersection one one is the closest center whichever center is closer only there it will the draggable will be dropped to closest corner it will check all the corners etc so you can use based on whatever you want to use i'll keep it simple and use closest corners because rectangle doesn't make sense here either closest corners or closest center i'll just use closest corners then we have the sortable context here we need to give the tasks i think it will be 
items which your task will be having inside you need to basically tell sortable context to uh, this uh, listen for all this task itself and to kill a strategy also whether it's going to be vertical list or horizontal list grid list etc we'll be using vertical list strategy because it's going to be vertical as we had seen in the demo just now this is a basic thing now we need to come to task we need to have use sortable hook again use it we need to tell the id and this has to be unique so i'll be using task.id because it's the date not dot now is enough unique for us unique enough for us in this application anyway i'll just abstract a couple of things from it one is going to be the attributes one is going to be the listeners then we'll have set node ref i'll tell you what each does later transform transition i think these are the things which are required i guess now i'll not be going too much detail into what transform transition does but let me just tell you about the transform part so what happens is like if you're trying to basically drag and drop different things here and there there will be browser repaint happening so uh, if you use width height margin etc so what we can do is like to avoid the browser repaint because it's expensive in one way we can use something called transform 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 3d etc uh, because it doesn't do a repaint so we'll be using that so to do that drag and drop will give us a couple of helpers we'll be using that inside instead of doing it manually basically it, uh, it abstracts all these th things for us so style will have transition we need to have transform this is again going to use a css utility which dnd get provides to us which i've already installed i have to use transform dot string i have to pass the transform to it this is it and we need to basically now pass it to the main container where you want to drag and uh, drag stuff or drop stuff to i'll pass style the main container needs to again have a ref to it so that dnd kit knows which element is in being dragged and dropped we have set node ref now here the handler needs to listen for the uh, uh, basically we need to tell where we need to listen for dragging and dropping stuff this is the main container which will be dragged but we need to tell the handle either we put the attributes and let me first do one thing let me show you putting attributes in here then i'll put it inside there now i think basic stuff are done at least something should work let me come back here right try it Now, if I try to drag, as you can see, I'm I'm able to drag from here anywhere, not just from the handle, but I want to do it from the handle so that for to do that, I have to just take this and put it in the handle. That's it. Now let me come back. Now, if I try to do from anywhere else, it's not gonna work. I have to do it from the handle only. And one important thing is like which I'll be telling later. Anyway, first let now let us come back to the app.tsx. Let me close this. So what we have to do is like we need to again handle the dragon because as you can notice here, even if I'm dragging stuff, it's not working, it's not dropping it because we need to handle a state events, state listeners as, as currently it's just dragging and dropping, but it's just, it's basically react. So you need to update the state also. So to do that, we need to handle the drag event listener. So let me come back here. It is destructuring active and over. Active is basically the element which we are dragging. Over is element to which we are dropping to. We'll just check basic if over is not there. We'll just return. Basic TypeScript stuff. And we'll check if the active ID and the over ID, basically the element we're dragging and dropping to are the same. Then it doesn't, meet, doesn't need to do it. We don't need to do anything. So I'll just check that out. We don't need to do anything. Otherwise, we'll get the old old location and the new location and update the state based on that. So to, to do that, we need to just call. We need to just get the original position or original index in the task, which I already created a helper which gives us the index 
from the task based on the ID which we provide. So let me have task. This will be active dot ID dot to string to give me give it the string value. Then to have new index which will be over ID dot to string. Nothing fancy there. Now we can get the updated task using another helper which is provided by TND kit, which is array to move. It will it, it will basically swap the elements and give us the updated array. So it's quite handy there. We just need to pass the array, which will be nothing but task. Original index is from to the new index, which is to. Based on that, we'll be getting the updated array, and we just need to update the array. Update the task based on this. Save. As you can see, we are able to drag and drop. So now this is working fine. And by default, we are able to do this drag and drop because there are some built-in sensors, which DND kit uses. I think it is, I forgot, maybe it was pointer sensor, but anyways, we can use our own sensors also because currently what will happen, uh, just to be on the clear, I'll just show you how you can configure sensors, but it's up to you based on whether you want to change or not the default sensors. So for now we'll be having sensors. We'll be having the pointer sensor, which is going to handle both uh, the mouse pointer as well as the touch pointer. Then we'll be having the keyboard sensor, which is going to handle the keyboard. And it will have some basic coordinates, which we can use. I think it was sortable. Again, it's coming from sortable again. Now, if we come back here, and we need to use the sensors inside DND gate. Save. Come back. Try. Try to. Now we can drag and drop. We can use our keyboard. For that, let me just do tab, tab. Now I have to press space. I press space. Now I have to do arrow up and down. As you can see, I'm able to have it. Now for key, uh, for the, you can say for mobiles or you can say touch sensors, we need to have touch action as none because by default, what will happen is like when you're trying to use the scroll, uh, by default, you try to scroll the viewport, which will make it an issue. So to avoid that issue, we need to have touch action as none in our handler. This is nothing but touch action as none. Let me show you if I was not adding it first. Now we are in mobile. If you try to do nothing is happening as you can see. So now let me add it. Save. Now if I try to do it, it works. And this is okay now. But the problem is as you can see, we can drag and drop and do uh, it looks weird if we think logically. So we can restrict the location, restrict it, uh, the drag, dragging to some specific part of the UI as well. So to do that, we'll be using DND kit modifier. We need to just restrict it to the parent element. There are different kinds of either we can do horizontal, vertical axis, parent element. Etc. Etc. I'll just keep it restricted to parent element. Now, if I come back, if I try to do anything, as you can see, I'm trying to go outside, but it's not allowing me to go. So, as you can see, this works fine now, I guess. And that's it. I guess this was the basic introduction to DND kit. I did not want to go too much deep. The document is quite good. There's a problem with the examples. You can't basically copy the examples as such. I tried to find a way to copy it. I did not find a way. If you if you know, then let me know in the comments. Otherwise, I found a GitHub repository. I'll share the link where you have the stories. It's a little extra word work for you to understand the examples from the storybook. But if you're interested, you can do it, I guess. And I think that's it for this whole video. And bye.